Hello and welcome to the video. This is about quite a cool function that you can get on these kind of multi-protocol radios. Now this happens to be the Radio Master TX16S and I need to say a very big thank you to the guys at Radio Master, particularly Ben over there, that helped me figure this out. Now this is about how you can actually install a second multi-protocol module. So this radio has two antennas, hopefully you can see that. Uh, the first one, the inbuilt one, is the one that you would bind to your model and the second one you can slap this in the back and configure it so that you can bind to that second module using another radio so what you can do is without making any modifications to your other radio you can have a wireless trainer function now why is that important well the trainer function is something that i've done quite a few videos on already i put links down below because i'm not going to cover how you actually use the trainer setup function just to say that allows you to pass control over to somebody else on another radio, which is perfect for teaching somebody to fly, which is what I do on a regular basis. And normally you'd use the little port at the top here. And actually I showed how to do that in the Radio Master uh, videos. The nice thing about having a wireless trainer function is uh, if you just have one of these multi-protocol modules sitting about, it's relatively easy to set up. Well, I say relatively easy. It took me three hours of messing around and some help from the Radio Master team to actually get this all working because the documentation is pretty meh. And actually, the OpenTX stuff is kind of changing all the time. So this is meant to be a complete tutorial on how to do it with every single radio. But what I'm going to do is show you how I've made this radio and this radio talk wirelessly so you can use the trainer function. I'll go through all the different versions and the two or three gotchas that are in the process so that you don't fall foul and I'll talk about the changes. So if you're looking at this in a couple of months time and you think it doesn't quite look like that, I'll explain why that's the case. Right, enough of the banging on, onto the desk. Let me show you how this cool stuff works. So here we have the two radios turned on. Uh, they're very close to each other, so it keeps losing the trainer signal, just like when you have it. But if I keep your eyes on this screen, there we go. All of the controls are being passed across. And if I turn on the trainer function on the radio, then those controls also go on channels 1, 2, 3, 4 as well. So that would mean that I could control uh, the model from this radio. Now, this could be very handy, potentially, if I wanted to hand control over to my friend, I could flick the trainer switch, or if I just wanted to have them wirelessly connected so they could control something like a camera shutter or a gimbal, this could work quite nicely for that as well. Now, let me show you what I've done to set this up. There are a couple of gotchas, and again, the documentation is a bit meh. Now, the first thing you need to do, if I go into uh, the menu for the model, if I go to the bottom, First thing you have to do is make sure that the trainer mode is set to master multi and that will make sure that it's listening to the signals coming in from that second module at the back of the radio and then up here in the external RF you have to have it set as multi and then also have it set for FR Sky RX and that will then set up the four in one multi protocol module in the JR bay in this radio to pretend and act like it's uh, a free sky receiver. Now, you can do this trainer function with lots of other radios, but I just have to have lots of free sky radios running D16, uh, so this is the way that I'm setting it up. Now, the, the way the screen looks and the way the screen might look if you're doing it uh, a couple of months after I make this video is that this is how it looks right now. Let me just scroll in a little bit and I'll just show you a little bit more detail about what I've done to get it all working. So this is what it actually looks like. So this is the normal external RF setup screen. Uh, at the moment, all it says is it's shown me I've got it set to FR Sky RX and then the V1.3.0.95 is the version of the firmware that's on that external module. Uh, I was struggling with this, this module I've had for about a year uh, and then upgraded it to that and that seemed to be a lot happier. So if you're struggling with this, make sure you're on a, that kind of number of firmware, that's going to help. The other thing that you might have noticed here is there's no receiver number. If you are looking at this in a couple of months and you have a receiver number, uh, that means you're running a slightly later version of OpenTX that's on this radio. And that receiver number for something like the FreeSky stuff has to match the number that's on the FreeSky radio. By default like this, if you're trying it 
with this version of OpenTX where you don't have a receiver number, you have to set the receiver number to zero in the student radio for it to bind and to work. So let me show you what that looks like on the other side. So uh, with our friend, the QX7, let me move them slightly further apart. Uh, you will see here that the uh, this radio is bound to the 4-in-1 module at the back uh, and thinks it's a receiver. Set, I'm using D16 here and the big important thing here is the RX num, the receiver number is 00. zero. Uh, I found that if it isn't 00, zero in this current version it won't bind. However, if you're using the later version then you just make sure that the receiver number, which whatever it is in here, is also the same inside this part of the menu at the bottom of the second screen for your model setup where you have all the basic settings. But if you do it that way, then you with uh, you can give your older radio or something uh, that runs D16 or something else actually to your mate and they could either control the gimbal or the camera control or whatever on whatever quad you're running or you can use the standard trainer stuff to flick a switch and then they have control and they can actually fly about. Hopefully that's helpful for those of you that have been looking at this. I think this is a fantastic feature. Um, I'd really love the idea of a wireless trainer connection. I did show in the review of the Radio Master stuff how you just plug the cable in the top. Again, links below to all the trainer stuff. Uh, I love the idea of this though, because what I can do is set a model up on this radio as the kind of master radio and then once that's all set uh, I can then at the field if somebody wants to fly the model they can just bind their radio to this I can use this process to then give them control and if they start to get into trouble I can just check control back and all without anything connected between the two radios so again big thank you to Ben and the team at Radio Master who helped me figure this out and again there may be two slightly different views of this first page which is if you come into here and the where you set up FR Sky RX has a receiver number make sure it's the same receiver number as on whatever radio you're using to bind to it if it looks like this then make sure you've got zero zero set and you should be away and again this is also something that works with lots of other radios as well uh, but for me this is the one that i really wanted to get working because this is the one that i have a lot of radios for i'm sure some of you are watching that and thinking well hang on what about the internal multi-protocol module can you use that to pass signals through whatever's plugged in the bay at the back and the answer is yes you can this is a crossfire module plugged into the back of the radio and set up exactly the same way. So the internal module is the one providing the trainer function and then it's passing it through the module at the back out into crossfire. Now this is a really cool way of setting this up. It means that even if you're using a long range system, you can still use this wireless telemetry setup to control it. So let me zoom in and show you how it works. So apologies for the screen looking very different. I've been playing with my radio and uh, turning it into uh, just mine with all the things. But what I've done in here, if I scroll down again, you can see that the internal module this time is set for the FreeSky receiver. And uh, it's on the latest version of OpenTX. So this time I've set the uh, receiver number 00 bound to the other one. And the other external module is set to CRSF for Crossfire. So as you can see, both ways will work. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.